I'm Justin Shanty. I work for Monster Energy Kawasaki for Adam Cicerillo. All of our bikes are essentially exact the same parts, same motor spec, suspension settings, from race bike to practice bike to test bike. So some of the, what we would consider the unobtainium parts on the bike, factory parts, we call them SR parts. That's our lingo at the shop, getting stuff from Japan, getting different parts from vendors that we seek out, you know, outside of our industry. And one of them is our carbon manufacturer. He's not a, an in the industry carbon producer. So we have and pay for molds for like water pump guards and the skid plate, the disc guard, some of our brake protection back here and like our uh, mass cylinder covers. That's all stuff that we design in house, buy molds, uh, work with the carbon guy. Our parts guy works with him and they produce these one off pieces just for our bike. Some of the other unobtainium style stuff is stuff that we actually produce in house at a Cowie here in Southern California. So it's all of our like CNC parts. Like I was saying, like this one piece foot peg that's designed, made, and stocked in house at our race shop. So you get the raw material in, it all stays right in the building. We can work with Jeremy, our CNC guy, and make everything directly to our specifications. So that's a really nice piece. I mean, all these little engine plugs, a lot of the bolts come from Japan, but some of the tie that we want special to our needs as mechanics with different T-handles. So changing bolt head sizes, master cylinder cover caps with their numbers and, and the SR logos in them. He makes our whole shot device, the ring, the button. He, we source out all the material for that. Brake line guides, just all little uh, trinkets all over, all these drilled out washers and axle blocks, stuff like that. So there's just little pieces all over the bike that we decided to either make a little bit beefier or that we need special to our racing needs. A couple of, of really, really cool pieces, obviously, is the factory show of suspension. It's an unobtainium part, you can't buy it. it. Comes to Japan, it's at the top of its game on, on suspension side of stuff. Uh, we're running a BFR shock, that's really cool. It's newer technology that it's nice to be able to uh, finally have work like in the Supercross setting. Uh, so a couple of things that make this bike Adam's bike. When we got back riding this season, he decided to switch back to the fat bar. He felt more comfort there. Another addition to his bike this year to help him is a full waffle Renthal grip. Kind of uncommon here. A lot of people usually use either no waffle or probably the majority of the guys use like a half waffle, but the size of his hands and the comfort on the bike, uh, he prefers this full waffle grip, which is actually pretty burly for like the average guy. He's not super, super picky about a lot of like heights and bar positions. I take measurements to make sure they're they're within a millimeter, you know, on settings of different levers and brake heights. And obviously every bike's a little bit different. He does run a little bit of a longer head pipe from Pro Circuit for this SR model. Just different characteristic of the engine. I like that a little bit better than like say Jason's is just a little bit shorter. To actually shine it up is a pretty involved process. I got to do like an acid bath and some Scotch-Brite and sandpaper. It's a lengthy process. There's all a bunch of stages to it, but that's what it gets the shine out. Um, and that's kind of how you see the shine here and on the brake pedal. We actually use these little like, rock tumblers for all the titanium. They come pretty shiny from like just from machining, but when you throw them in there with a little bit of polish, it'll bring that shine out to kind of match the frame. So all this is done by hand and any of like the little bits, like even these master cylinders and calipers, those are putting like a bigger tumbler. So, and then the bolts are all kind of tumbled as one big unit and I'll tumble them for like a day or so. Just let them kind of roll around in there. Just get it shiny. The media that we use doesn't take any of the edges off or, or deteriorate the part at all. It just puts us a nice shine on it. One of my favorite things is that it's tailored just to Adam. So basically 99% of the world would get on this thing and I'm not gonna say they would hate it, but it, it's, it's tailored just for Adam. All right, so there you have it. That's a quick look around our super trick Kawasaki KX450SR.